All right, anytime you're going into the manhole here to locate anything, you know, especially fiber, you can see this big mess here. I do never ever want to clamp around here. I don't want to go through this, all this, this loop here, all this coil. I don't want my tunnel traveling through all this. Because by the time it goes out the other end, I'm losing. And plus with this big loop, I'm creating, you know, interference. You know, like one big green clamp here. So if I sweep out here, I'm going to get interference here really quickly, right off the bat. So what I like doing, I like finding the end piece and going right at the end piece if possible. So you can see my end piece right there going out that way. And here's my other end piece. Oh shit, my hard hat again. Jesus Louise. So I want to go into this direction that way. So I'm going to clamp out to the cable right there. Right there I'm clamping. Going right out. And I should get a good tone. So with my sweep, I'm not doing the 360 because that end's located already. I know my fiber's going out this way. So I'm going about 30, 40 feet out. Where the handhole is. And I'm gonna sweep this whole parkway to make sure it doesn't then loop all the way out to the curb here. So I'm gonna sweep all the way out here. So I'm at 70%, I'm a receiver, so I'm pretty low. Let's see what we picked up, pick up. Oh, Jesus Louise. That's why you wear glasses and hard hats. That branch almost took me out of the game. All right, one more time. So I'm low, and there you go. I got a tone, it's a quick one. And it's shallow, one foot. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna complete my sweep to the fence to make sure that's the only tone I got because I'm really low, 70%, 72%. I'm a receiver. If I got, if I don't pick up nothing else, we'll come back to the spot. Oh, and we got nothing else. So that's that was our only talk was at this spot right here. So I know this has to be my cable because that's my only tone I got, and I was low on my receiver and high on my transmitter. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna null it and see if my null is right there. Whoa, see how that, see how the peak ramp shot up? Look, the null lines up with my peak. So the peak ramp is right on top. You can see how high it's getting, I'm getting far away from the cable, how low it's getting because I'm over the top of the cable and the arrows. Arrows indicating you're on, directly on top of the cable. I go away, see how high the peak goes? How low, I'm over the top, how low? So that's, that when you're knolling out, you want, know, you want a perfect knoll like this, folks. A perfect knoll. You know this is your dead, you know you're dead nuts on your cable. This is your cable. No questions about it. Yes, it's a foot deep. It is what it is. But now, my, ne my second thing I'm gonna do, second test, I'm gonna turn my receiver sideways. And I want this peak ramp go all the way down to zero. I don't know how well you can see this. So I'm all the way down to zero. So my compass is landing straight up with my peak. It's not crooked, it's perfectly straight. And my peak graph up here is down to zero. I know I'm on my cable. I should have no questions that it's not my cable. You could do it, you could raise it a foot, but sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Let's raise it a foot and see what happens.
nice. So I'm reading two feet, 11 inches. So you can use your paint stick as a guide. This is about almost 12 inches, a little shorter than 12 inches. But you can, you can raise it up and you can see I gain Ten inches. See, that's why I don't like using this, raising it. I mean, it gives you a guidance, but I don't like doing it. So I know I'm on my target. So let's peek it out, and we'll go null it back. See now, I'm going far away from my box. So I got to bump up my gain a little bit. I'm just going to bump it up a little bit. Nothing crazy. Now I'm about 100 feet away, roughly 75 feet. Another test. My nose, see where my nose at. Up it up. So the arrow in the peak graph is moving consistent. So I'm still on my target point. And I'm gonna turn sideways. And it went to zero, folks. The cup is nice and straight, and it went to zero. So I know I'm still on my target point, but you can see my depth, it got a little deeper. I'm reading three feet. So I, saw, I know I'm still on my target point. My peak and null agreed with this peak, so I have no questions about it. I'm on my fiber. So, so I'm gonna bring it back, and when I'm bringing it back, I'm marking out, I'm marking it out. So, here's my null, and here's my peak. I'm gonna put my line six inches beyond my null, and six inches beyond my peak. So, if peak is right, I'm still covered within the law of Illinois. If null is right, I'm still covered with the law in Illinois, the 18-inch law. So that's how I do it, folks. I peak it out and null it, to make sure I'm on my cable. Now the thing is, if it, if, if it doesn't know here, if it doesn't know here, and it knows somewhere else, that means you bled off onto a different utility. That's tell I should be telling you, you're not, the current is not on this line anymore. The current jumped onto a different utility. And if, if, if that happens, and it does not know, then jump down to the fertility. You have to question it. What I do, if this, if this didn't know out here, what I do, I would have to go to my next hookup spot, way down there, my next hookup spot, put my box down there to bring it back to double check, to find out why my current jumped over. I could have jumped over and bled out to a different utility, because maybe that utility is shallow, shallow than this utility. So I could have jumped, my box could have jumped over and picked up the gas main. That's why I'll verify back from there, bring it back to make sure where my peak was, that's my target point, still here, not over there. All right, so remember that, folks. If it doesn't know there, that means your current is not on this line anymore. Your current jumped somewhere else or your cable turned somewhere else. You would need to bring it back by a second hookup spot to verify that that your cable is still here from a second hookup spot and you gotta figure out why your current jumped out to a different utility. Most likely because you you were on a higher frequency and it and, and bled out to a shallow um, utility. Alright folks, if you have any questions, leave it in the comments. I'd be more than happy to answer any questions. Have a great day.